Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, so um, I'm gonna be doing an NBH. Um, so today is gonna be a little different because, as everybody should know, it's Christmas or Hanukkah. Uh, you do Hanukkah instead or some other thing, but I do Christmas. Why don't you say that? <laughs> Basically, I got a ton of briars this year, like a ton. And I am really happy. I'm gonna just get right to this because there's a lot. I might do a part two of this video just because my sister told me that she got me briars and they didn't come in the mail yet. So I don't have those ones yet and I don't know which ones they are. So let me get started now. So the very first one I got was from Briarfest 2010. Now, when you see this horse, I want you to go down in the comments. If you know his name, go down in the comments below and type in his name, because I don't know his name, because he didn't come with a name, because he didn't come in his box. So, here he is. I got it from a special website called the Model Horse Store. Well, my mom did. I showed her the website, because I, like, was in love with the website. So, um, I'm like really happy. I love the model horse store. You guys should totally go there if you like older horses like I do. I don't really like the new ones very much. I just love the old ones. Um, so yeah, I know I'm taking this from a really weird view, but I don't have my tripod with me. I could use something else, but I'm too lazy to. So, and my tripod was right here. So yeah, this is him. Big Blaze, four socks. He's a draft horse. He's bay. Um, if you guys know his name, that'd be great if I could know. Um, I absolutely love his mane and tail. Look at that! Look at that tail. I love this model, too. Look at that tail. That's amazing. Like, I'm not even- is that longer than my hair? I'm not sure if you guys know, but I have ridiculously long hair. That's amazing. And I know- I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I'm not a huge fan of glossies. But when- there's a horse like this. It's just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see his eyes or anything, but I'm actually not a huge fan of the eyes, but I definitely love the horse. It's kind of just filled in black, um, which some horses can pull it off, but not really him, I'm sorry. But I love him besides the eye. I love him. I love him so freaking much. He's amazing. Oh my god. And he's like a very faint dorsal stripe right here. Kind of. You can't really see it on the camera, but I don't know. So anyways, that was my first horse. He was from 2010 Briarfest, which I think I was like just getting started in collecting these horses in 2010, maybe. I don't know, maybe they're earlier, but I'm not sure. Um, the second one, I also don't know this mare's name. Um, she's from- oh, she's also from Briarfest 2010. Um, so both these guys are from 2010. If you have the Briarfest app for 2010, if there is one, that's probably where you'll find these guys, because they are from Briarfest. But it's the Indian Pony. Gosh, I love her. She's so beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful! I swear. Once again, if you guys want to know where to get these guys, the Model Horse Store is where to go. I don't know how they get these briars or if they like just remake them or something, but they are absolutely amazing. Um, by the way, the rest of my briar horses are in boxes, so I'm not gonna be like, you know, showing off too quickly. I'm gonna try to have two minutes at least for each horse. Um, I like everything about her, really. I especially love this part right here where the white is at of the mane, right there. I don't know why, I just really love it. Um, I think I'm going to include her in Seekers, if you guys watch that. Um, if you don't, you should go check that out if you're into that type of stuff. But, I love her. The only thing I kind of wish is that if she was a little bit taller. Like, that's just my preference. I like taller horses, because I feel like short horses, I don't know. <laughs> They're cute. Short horses are cute, but sometimes they look better, like, gooder, better on <laughs> bigger horses. But I'm not hating on it. I love the horse. Love, 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 love it. 
I love this so much. Like, I'm freaking out without the camera over here because I can't believe I actually have a horse from 2010, Briarfest. I didn't even not know about Briarfest until some while ago. I think it was like two years before I actually went. But anyways, um, yeah, I really love her. As you guys can see, it says Briarfest 2010 right there. The camera will focus. Yep, 2010. So yeah, I absolutely adore her. And the next, I have five more. The next five are in boxes. And I, one of them is new, just one, just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna get the new one out of the way. Um, I never miss getting these guys. The holiday 2016, right? Wait, yeah. The holiday 2016 horse. I love this horse. Like, I love his tack. I don't actually know what the actual horse looks like, though. From what it looks like to me, I think it'd look better as a white horse, but I haven't seen it yet. So, he is called Woodland Splendor. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna unbox him now. Okay, you guys, so I unwrapped, or not unwrapped him, I undid his box, and this is what he looks like. What the heck, my camera's going weird. I need to. But anyways, I really like him. I love his tag. I, I did not realize that he had like this little white spot right there. I'm guessing you guys can probably see that. Um, so yeah, but I know I really like him. I think he's really pretty. I didn't actually realize he was a dun either. I love duns. I don't even have a dun. Like I'm, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm like with it. And yes, it's a guy. Because I know Zenyatta is a girl. <coughs> Black Bart. But, um. Oh my god. I actually don't want to take off his tack at the moment. Just because I love looking at him. Um. He's got these little pine cones in his tack. And he's got like pine cones right here. He's got like feather on his feathers on his head. And. His reins are kind of cool. I feel like they could have done a little bit better on the reins, but besides that, I love his tack and I love him. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see him very well. But yeah, no, I absolutely love him. Um, don't go in the comments and say I sound ungrateful. Please don't do that. I remember last year people were saying that. I just point out the horse's flaws. <laughs> that I just like. But I love the horses, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, you have that like one briar that you just love, but there's this one thing about them that you just don't like very much. Like, think about it that way. Any of you have that, but yeah. I love him, oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna waste my time on this one horse. I said two minutes on each horse and that's not happening. The next one I got was Mingguan. <laughs> Mingguan. Um, she's, a Indian horse. I actually don't know where my aunt got this. I um, wasn't sure if she went on the model horse store or not, but I know for sure that my mom did. But anyways, so yeah, you should seriously go check out that site if you like horses like this. Please do. I'll leave a link in the description. Like, they're amazing. Anyways, yeah. I love this. I love- I'm not boxing now. Okay, so I unboxed her, and I love her. I love the little vintage look that she has with her dapples. I don't know why, I just really like that. But I didn't even notice that there was like this little stripe here. I'm holding her a little weird, sorry about that. But I love stripes and blazes and things on their faces. I don't know, I just love it. And then like, I love the whole thing. Oh my god, I just realized it. Oh my god, there's- th Oh my god. Seriously? Just feathers in its tail. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This I like. I love feathers. Feathers, 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 feathers. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> um, you can obviously help see how much I like this horse. I don't even know what color it is. It looks like a Grulio kind of but I love it, oh my god. Yeah, I love it. 
And then like there's like this little brown spot right here and stuff, and I just think it's so cute. Once again, um, the eye thing, it covers the whole entire eye. I kind of wish they didn't do that. I don't know, it just kind of makes them seem soulless. But still, I like it. <laughs> I just realized that now I have a new conga of Indian ponies. Because I have like four of them now. Okay, so the next one that I got was, um, I really like the other ones that I got. So I'm just going to start with, um, Idicus. I got Idicus. I... Yeah, Idicus. I think that's how you spell Idicus. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Idicus. <laughs> but I like him. The only thing, like, nothing about him in general at the moment. Um, it's just dressage. I'm not a huge fan of dressage, but I absolutely love his paint job. So I'm gonna go and open him up. Okay, so I got him open. Now, I actually noticed a few things that um, weren't supposed to be there. Um, I'm not sure if I did it or not on accident, but I'm on the other side. There's like that. I'm not sure if this was like Rebox or something, but I don't know if I did that by rubbing it. Um, there's also kind of like a scratch right here. I'm not really sure if you guys can see that. Kind of, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in that, but. Um, it's not really gonna show the very much. So yeah, I love Idacus. I've always wanted him. He's been, just been one of the horses that I've been wanting forever. And I was, when I got him, I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. So like when I finally got him, I'm like, oh holy crap, I love him. Um, so yeah, another thing is that the stripe right here isn't really done very well. Like, you can't really see his little stripe right there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen with the real horse. But. You know. I'm grateful for what I have. I'm grateful for that I got him. And as long as I have him in my collection. That's fine with me. I love his little star right here. So cute. I also love his mold. Um. I officially now have a Congo of him now, though, so that's, like, really cool to me. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for him to be in my collection. I can't wait to put him up. Um, but yeah, no, I love him. And the weird thing is that I'm not honestly a huge fan of bays, but I don't know. I just, like, really like him. And the next one that I'm about to show. So the next one I got, I got poker um i'm actually really happy that i got him because i um actually have another horse named tommy turvy which i think is this horse's partner from what i'm understanding is this poker joe and tommy turvy which the other horse that I have that I actually got from Briarfest, which I actually flew to Kentucky and got him, I actually got Tommy Turvey and I saw Poker. I'm like, I really like him, but I don't have enough money to get him. And I was like really upset that I can't get him. But now that I have him, I'm like, oh my god. But let me get him out. <laughs> okay, so this is Poker. I absolutely love him. Um, once again, I went to Kentucky, saw Tommy Turvey and Poker, and I'm like, I like Tommy Turvey better because he wasn't Bay. But then I realized how much I actually love, I've never actually seen the other side of him, but oh my god, it looks exactly the same as the other side, but it's pretty. I don't know why. I guess I just really like the, the paint part of him. Like, I don't, like, if he was just a plain bay, I wouldn't have gotten him. But another thing is that I love what he does. I won't get just get a briar for just their looks. I'll get him for, like, because they have a good story or something. He also came with a DVD, which I'm really, like, OMG with. I can't wait to watch it. It says right here, let's see if I can, can like flip it a little bit. It says right here, um, includes action footage from performances with Poker Joe, 
and personal interview with Tommy Turvey. Wait, is the is Tommy Turvey supposed to be a person? <laughs> um, I'm probably getting this wrong. If Tommy Turvey, is this interview with Tommy Turvey? Okay, I think Tommy Turvey's a person, but I actually do have a horse named Tommy Turvey. Yeah, Tommy Turvey. I'm really happy with him. Um, I love them both though. I really like poker. I don't know why I didn't get poker though. But to be honest, I'm kind of glad that I did get um, Tommy Turvey just because I wouldn't have found him on the website because he's not actually on the website. Certain horses are on the website and others aren't, which is very unfortunate, but at the same time, that just makes um, them more valuable. So yeah. Um, I love his little snip. It's so cute. So yeah, I really like him. I hope you guys do too, because this is one of my favorites now. He probably is now my new favorite, but I don't know. <laughs> I need to like relook through all my briars. Ah! But let's go on with the next horse. Okay, this next one I've been wanting for decades, and when I finally found him, I was like, yes, yes. Because I think I have a horse at the ranch that is the daughter of this horse. Which actually, if any of you guys know Like a Diamond, Like a Diamond is a briar. If you have him, good job. Guess what? My horse comes from Like a Diamond. Maddie comes from Like a Diamond. If you don't know who Maddie is, she's my horse. I did a like five minute documentary on her, kind of. Um, and you guys should really go check her out. I love her with my heart. Wait freaking tear my heart out. She's also in all of my vlogs. She's the horse that I ride. That is like a diamond's horse. Unfortunately, we didn't get her into training, so she's not a cutting horse, but she is a great sorting horse, which I love. Anyways, I'm getting off track. So Smart Chickalina, this is who I got next. I've been wanting her for decades. Him. Ch when I say chick Alina, I always think of it as a girl because you know, chick, you know, you know, let's not go there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get him open. Him open. <laughs> okay, so this is Smart Chick Alina. I absolutely love him so much because, okay, yes, he's a cutting horse. Um, that's one of the main reasons that I like him, but another thing is that I actually hear a lot about him in the horse world. Like, oh, I have Smart Chick Alina's fold. I'm just like, this horse is obviously famous. I've heard this from like five different people now. Like, from random people that I don't even know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that brand though. Oh my god. It kind of looks like the JMC brand. Like the JMC truck brand kind of. Like, logo. I don't know why I say brand, but whatever. But, oh my gosh. I am in love with this horse. I love everything about it. I'm not even kidding. I love everything about it. I, I love oh, the tail. <gasps> the tail. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that tail. Dude, holy crap. That's amazing. I love tails like that. My mom's horse, like a diamond, or not like a diamond, um, kittens and diamonds, a similar name, but she doesn't come from the same family, has the same type of tail, and I love it. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. Anyways, I love Sparky Chicolina. I've, I hear about him all the time, but I never actually knew what he looked like or anything like that. I love him. Um, he looks absolutely perfect. I love him with all my heart. I'm so freaking happy I got him. He's not actually the one I'm most excited for. So I'm going to show you that guy right now. That is the Lone Ranger Silver. I absolutely love this horse. And yeah, sure, he may be white, but I love it that he's actually in a movie and it comes with a disc or a book or something. It said it can't, yeah, it says comes with video right here. Um, I love the comments in the background. There's information on the side. Oh my God, I love him so much. I just need to open him up now. I'll open him up. You know it's vintage. When you see, there are zip ties on the horse instead of the, these little things. Oh no. This is how you ruin a horse by trying to get these things off. Oh no. 
Okay, guys, so I got the Lone Ranger out. Oh my god. Okay, so I actually read the instructions on how to open it online, and then I couldn't find it online, so I found it on the box. It said use nail clippers. I tried nail clippers, and it didn't work. So I glad grabbed these like nail scissor things. I don't know, people say they like pluck out nose hairs or whatever. Um, <laughs> if you guys have this problem, um, use these things. They actually are really helpful because they don't destroy your briar. So yeah, so I got this guy and he's so pretty. I love him so much. Um, the eyes actually fit with him, I think, in my opinion. So really, I can't see anything wrong with him from how, what the way I'm looking from for uh, the way I'm looking at him. I think he's really pretty. And you know what the best part is about this guy is that this is the very first um, mold I have of this horse. So I'm gonna start a conga thing for him. I've been wanting this mold for so long, I just like never got it. And I was just like, ugh, I really want it. It also comes with the Lone uh, Ranger and the Lost City of Gold uh, video or movie. I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is approximately 85 minutes, so I kind of feel like it's a movie. Um, I am not quite sure. Get it open real quick. Okay, so this is the thing, this is the product thing. Oh no! Oh no! No way! <laughs> it's in this form? Oh no. This is gonna be like. I'm never gonna be able to play this. <laughs> I don't have. I don't even have like a disc player. I don't even have this type of disc intake in my house. That's not good. I can't watch the video now. I know I'm spending more than two minutes on this guy, but only because it's the freaking, like, Lone Ranger. I can't help but be, like, in awe on him. I, honestly, in my opinion, I do like Smart Chickalina better, only because of the color, but as in stories, I like this guy. Because, I mean, come on, it's a movie. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, you guys, um, yeah, that's the Lone Ranger. Anyways, you guys, so quick overview, I got, um, Poker, Idicus, um, Wooden Splendor, I don't know his name, go down in the comments and help me with that, um, what's, um, that bay horse's name, the one I'm pointing at, um, I forgot her name, it's on the box, but I put the box away, um, don't know her name, please help me in the comments with her, the Lone Ranger and Smart Chickalina, that one. <laughs> So anyways, I got all these horses for Christmas, but remember, this is just part one on my Christmas NBH. Uh, so my sister says that they're on their way, and probably part two will more likely be the newer ones, just because I told her to get the newer ones, because I wanted to get the older ones and the newer ones. So yeah. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and um, go down the description box below to see my social medias and i'll see you guys later bye